badass. Ah! That's not Batman. Kate Kane told you to get out of Gotham. And Grant doing, you know, really dark, angry uh, drama. He's fantastic as well. Nice work. We got lucky. And then Melissa is always just a joy to be around. Oh, the, the green arrow. <laughs>Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Elseworlds crossover, so it's premiering tonight. The Flash is changing to a Sunday night just for the special night for the crossover, and then we got Arrow the next day, and then after that we have Supergirl on a Tuesday where the Flash would normally be, so get ready for that. So this is going to be a nice little special video because the crossover is coming tonight and I just want to talk about it before we get there. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I'm going to be talking about a sneak peek in regards to the second part of the crossover. So this is Arrow's episode, so this sneak peek was released. And also we're going to talk a bit about tonight's episode, about what's probably going on overall in these coming few episodes. So probably some predictions we'll be doing in this video because I just want to talk in general, if you know what I'm saying, about what's coming in the Elseworlds crossover because so many people are so excited. I'm so excited. So let's quickly talk about tonight's episode. So tonight's episode we're going to start off is going to be sort of the introduction like it's going to be pretty comedic in this episode and it's going to sort of take a shift to the darker tone as it goes on and this is due to Barry and Oliver having their bodies actually switched around like everyone believes that these people are actually each other and so they wake up one morning they realize they've swapped bodies we've seen the sneak peek I talked about that yesterday in what Stephen Amell wakes up as with Iris in Iris's bed and we've seen other sneak peeks talking about that but you can check that video out from yesterday and I think the way Barry's going to start out is actually he's going to be fighting with Diggle. That's what they said in the inside sneak peek. So in that, Todd Helbing teases the fact that what is going on with Oliver and Barry and like how Kara actually gets into it. And he also teased that Steven is going to be playing the more comedic character and Grant is going to be being more dark in this crossover. So essentially they've switched personas because he's now the Green Arrow and Steven's the Flash and they're going to be essentially playing each other's sort of ideologies a bit in this although obviously Barry's going to have his Barry tint to him but Steven's going to be playing more along the lines of how Grant would play when he's not sort of super down because at least at the start in the first episode it seems to be pretty comedic and in the inside sneak peek we actually get a look at the team in Star Labs as in episode one they don't understand and they can't grasp the idea that these two people are actually different like they truly believe they are each other the real Oliver is actually the Flash they truly believe that and the real Barry is actually the Green Arrow and so Todd Helbing goes on to tease the sort of dynamics between them and how sort of Supergirl and Lois Lane and Superman are all sort of in the middle like they actually believe them because their Earth isn't affected because they're from Earth 38 so we get a little look at Lois Lane in the inside look and so I've either played that at the start of the video or I'll leave that link in the description below. It's just I have some copyright issues with Warner Brothers right now. It's really annoying. So occasionally when I don't put the trailers or sneak peeks in, it's because just being wary about that. So that is what's going to be happening in tonight's episode. They're going to be introducing everything that's going to happen in the next two episodes. So on Arrow tomorrow and then also on Supergirl on Tuesday where the Flash would normally be. But so let's talk about this part two scene from Arrow and this is most likely the introduction of Batwoman. So I wouldn't expect Batwoman in the first episode but they may at the end of the first episode go to Gotham and this is the scene that we're going to talk about. So there is a breakout in Arkham Asylum and you can see Green Arrow Barry actually shooting everyone with his arrows and then it's interrupted by someone flinging these criminally insane people up in the air and guess who it is? It's Batwoman. And so this is essentially very similar to The Dark Knight and how Batman's reintroduced and also the zip wires and the sort of grappling hook shots 
are definitely influenced by Batman vs Superman because there was that massive Batman scene and also like I said the Dark Knight when he actually lands on the van is taken straight out of that film and this introduction to Batwoman sort of shows the more stylized nature of how they're going to portray her sort of in this more kind of comic way than say the Flash or Green Arrow because she sort of does the superhero jump and then she does the hand on the ground and you know I, I think it's just for the opening scene but nevertheless it's a really cool scene it's kind of comic book realized in a way that's not really true to real life. This introduces the idea of Batwoman and I think we actually may be seeing Kate Kane in the first episode. I don't think we're seeing Batwoman in the first episode because this is supposedly from the Arrow episode and they don't recognize her but Batwoman actually does talk about Kate Kane so obviously before this we've had interactions with Kate Kane that being our characters have so we'll find out what she's actually going to be doing maybe she's around the gotham city police department but i do believe that at the end of tonight's episode we will probably be heading towards gotham city in order to get there properly for the next episode because they're going to find out about dr destiny arkham asylum and that's where they are right here with batwoman and green arrow and also cisco getting hit by a truck which is kind of crazy like how can he stand up because he got hit pretty hard but that's why they are essentially in Gotham City and let me know in the comments below how excited you guys are for the Elseworlds crossover I'm gonna go over the next two synopsises just before we head into tonight's episode because I just want to sort of recap everything that we've gone over from the last few videos so as mentioned before breaking down that sneak peek we actually are going to Gotham in this episode so this episode was actually directed by James Bamford obviously a massive massive arrow sort of legend right now and he just came off an amazing episode recently on arrow but you know one of our favorite directors on these shows and so his episode is going to be in Gotham City and Supergirl and everyone is going to come with Oliver and Barry obviously still body switched as they come to Gotham City most likely on Earth 1 because I don't see why it would actually be on Earth 38 because Earth 38 has not actually been affected by this reality change so John Deegan most definitely is on Earth 1 and so they're going to be trying to find out why John Deegan did this I think they're going to find out about the monitor in this episode the 90s flash is probably going to reappear maybe he has a small little cameo in the episode before and I think that main confrontation with the monitor and 90s flash and all our heroes is going to be in this episode and so we're going to be meeting Kate Kane and she is going to be around Arkham Asylum as Batwoman and there is going to be various scenes sort of just introducing the idea of Batwoman because they do plan on doing a Batwoman spin-off TV show. So now let's talk about the final episode, so the third part of the crossover and this is the Supergirl episode directed by Jesse Warren, big Supergirl director. And so the synopsis for this is really, really small. It's Supergirl, The Flash, Green Arrow, and Superman engage in the battle of their lives. So essentially, this is just going to be the sort of final wrap up, maybe a bit more in Gotham, a bit more to do with Dr. Destiny. I do believe that Black Suited Superman is probably going to come in around sometime episode two. We don't actually know where exactly he's from. We know he's from another Earth. But most likely he's going to actually be brought in by either John Deegan, Dr. Destiny or the Monitor. It's a little confusing as to what's going on with the Monitor as I previously mentioned. Because in the comics in Crisis on Infinite Earths he's actually a good person. He's a sort of hero. Not really too much of a traditional hero but he protects the multiverse from the Anti-Monitor. And also recently in an interview I must point this out. They said that this crossover sets up the next crossover and fans of the comic books will know what's happening. So I definitely think the next crossover is going to be an iteration of Crisis on Infinite Earths and that's why the Monitor is here. Most likely to probably test our Earth, test our heroes to see if they will be able to stop the Anti-Monitor's invasion, see if they're strong enough. I do think that's a strong theory going into this because... If we're going to get Crisis on Infinite Earths, the Monitor is normally a hero or sort of like a person on the edge, but he's essentially against the main villain, which is the Anti-Monitor. So 
I definitely think they are teasing the idea of Crisis on Infinite Earths in this crossover. Also, we're going to see the appearance of Psycho Pirate. He's a massive Crisis on Infinite Earths character. So, I definitely think introducing all these different characters like the Monitor and Psycho Pirate in this crossover is definitely a way to set up the next as they've teased. So, I definitely think this is going to be happening next year. So, get ready for that. But for the meantime, we've got tonight's episode, which is going to be introducing the crossover and the main concepts. Then we've got two more nights on Arrow and Supergirl. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And also, please be sure to share this video. But also tomorrow, I'm going to be seeing Aquaman for the very first time. I can't do a review until Wednesday. So after the Arrow episode of Elseworlds, I'm going to have that video, that review up, and then also I will have my Aquaman review up because that is a major DC film that's coming up and I'm so excited. So please be on the lookout for that, turn on notifications to not miss that. And anyway guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye. It doesn't make us strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shy.